Hey everybody, Josh here with an undead discussion of iZombie. I'll be doing tonight's video by myself because Anna's feeling a little under the weather. Hey, just a heads up, if you haven't seen tonight's episode of iZombie, I am going to spoil it for you, so if you are allergic to spoilers, be sure to turn off the video now. So, tonight's iZombie was a pretty solid episode, I thought. The primary villain, whose name I have a hard time remembering for some reason, his business is thriving. He has more and more clients, aka zombies, who are paying him 25 grand a month, I think it was, to stay fed with the brains. And uh, it'll be interesting to see where that story goes. I'm really not sh sure how it's going to overlap with Liv's story. Because basically what he's doing is he's taking homeless kids off the street and stealing their brains. So, actually I imagine at some point some brainless homeless kids are going to turn up at the morgue and she's going to put two and two together. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes. And the ongoing love story between Liv and her ex-fiance. I would like to see her start to move on a little bit because... I think her initial reaction was right, that right now, because she is a zombie, she is not good for Major, I think his name is. I think her initial instinct was correct, and so I think she needs to really move on, and right now she's unable to. As a viewer, that's going to get stale very quickly. And in this episode, we finally got a little bit, in, a little bit of insight into Detective Clive's backstory. We learned that he is a former undercover cop who got transferred to homicide because he was having a difficult time transitioning back into Vice. So he grew a little bit as a character tonight, and I'd like to see him grow more because I think he could be an actually very interesting character. Yeah, I guess this is going to be a pretty short review. Again, there's not a whole lot going on in the show right now. It's still kind of building up for that, that extended story of Liv and the main villain who is kidnapping the homeless children. And once their stories intersect, I think these review videos are going to get much longer because there's going to be way more to talk about. But I'm enjoying the show so far. If you haven't watched iZombie yet, I really have to recommend it. It's a very good show. It's a very fun show, which you kind of, I guess, would expect from a CW show. It's just a different look at the, at the zombie genre, and it's just a good time. So definitely check it out. Catch it on demand. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Every Saturday we do a topic of the week. However, this weekend we're going to be at Megacon, so we're probably not going to do a topic of the week this Saturday. We'll, or instead, we will most likely do a recap of uh, the convention. Megacon takes place in Orlando. It's not far from where we live, so we'll be, we'll be over there most of the weekend. And of course, next week we'll be at Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, California. So we will do our absolute best to keep the videos coming next week. We may miss a day or two, but please be patient with us. We're on vacation and uh, we will do our absolute best to keep the videos going, even if they're just convention recap videos. All right, that's it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching.